Hi everybody, Dr. Joe Dispenza here. I want to take a moment and teach you some basic tools to begin to change your life. When you invest in yourself, you invest in your future. Number one, take some time out of your busy lives to disconnect from your world. Shut your cell phone off, turn the TV off, power down your computer, sit your body down for a few minutes and close your eyes. Number one. Number two, take some breaths and center yourself. When you center your attention into the present moment, you have more energy to create with. When your mind wanders to the predictable future or the familiar past, that's normal. Just become aware of it and keep working on settling yourself back down into the present moment. When you're in the present moment, you're the most creative. Number three, ask yourself, can I be defined by a vision of the future instead of the memories of the past? What do I want in my life? And take the time to answer the question. As you begin to contemplate and think about the answer to the question, you're changing your brain. When you make your brain fire in new sequences and new patterns and new combinations, that's the beginning steps of changing your mind. Next, decide on the emotions you'll feel when you begin to create that future and teach your body emotionally what that future is going to feel like and don't get up until you begin to feel those emotions next step step number four rehearse in your mind who you're going to be when you open your eyes the things you have to do the choices you have to make the steps you have to take and review them over and over again number five you can't go to the future holding on to the biology of your past. Decide what thoughts you can bring to your future. Write them down. Thoughts like, I can't, it's too hard, I'll never change, I'll start tomorrow, what's wrong with me, it's someone else's fault. Decide on what behaviors or actions or unconscious habits you have to change. How do you talk? Do you complain? Do you blame? Do you make excuses? Do you feel sorry for yourself? Just become so conscious of those behaviors that you'll never go unconscious again. And lastly, you have to decide what emotions no longer belong in your future. That means if you want to be wealthy, you can't take lack. If you want to be healthy, you can't take insecurity or fear. You got to begin to condition your body to a new mind. If you do this every single day, your personality creates your personal reality and your personality is made up of how you think, how you act, and how you feel. Change any one of those things and you change your life and begin to measure the effects of you at cause. Give it a shot.